Hey guys, it's Splice Wave here, and in this video I'll be showing you some tips and tricks you can do for PlayStation Home on PC. Now if you're new here, then I highly recommend you go and watch my other video tutorial for how to install PlayStation Home on PC, which is linked in the video description, otherwise this tutorial will probably not make any sense to you. But anyways, let's start with how to add PlayStation Home on Steam. Now this first thing is optional, but I highly recommend you open your browser and download this PKG, which of course will be linked in the video description, as this will update the PS Home logo to be a higher resolution and will look much better on Steam compared to the original image. But once you're here, just click download, let it download. Now that it's finished downloading, we can now close out of the browser and now to install it, open RPCS3 and then go to File, Install Packages, and now just find the file we downloaded. For me, it's in Downloads, and it's right here. Open it, click Yes, and let it install. Easy. And now that's done, we can continue. So if you have RPCS3 open, close it, and now open Steam, and then go to Add a Game, Add a non-Steam game, and now click Browse. And now we need to find where our RPCS3 build is saved. So go to where it is. For me, it's in C Drive. RPCS3, RPCS3 EXE is the one we want. And now add selected program. And now click on it once and then right click on it and then go to properties. And then in the video description, there'll be a bit of text you need to copy and paste into here, which is this bit of text, the dash dash no GUI RPCS3 game ID MPA quadruple zero five. And we can also edit a few things. So up here, instead of saying RPCS3, we can put PlayStation Home. And now if you installed that PKG, you can now click on this and now go to Dev HCD 0, Game, and Play Quadruple 05. And now this is the new icon that appeared in that PKG. So now we can select it and we get a full size logo just like that. And now for controller. Now, since most of you are playing on a controller, I think this is worth a mention. If you are playing on a controller like I am, don't use default settings and don't use enable steaming, but always disable it. Otherwise, it's going to overwrite it for RPCS3 and the result will be that controllers don't work. So just do that. And then once that's done, we can now close out of this and now click play. And if RPCS3 is open, it will give an error. So that's why I said to close RPCS3, but since it's not open, it opens like that and PlayStation Home works. Now let's go over some things on RPCS3 that you can change. So the first thing is that you can remove unnecessary columns like this PlayStation Move column. To do so, simply hover your mouse up here and then right click and as you can see it will bring up a menu. And now if we click Show PlayStation Move, it will remove this section. And we can do this again for supported resolutions and of course any others that we don't want. And another thing you can do is change how wide each section is. So if we click on this gap in the middle and we click and hold, we can now drag to widen or shorten it, just like that. And another thing we can do is if we go to configuration and then go to GUI, as you can see, it brings up this UI style sheet. And this is so we can change the theme of RPCS3. So if we click on this and then we can choose from any one of these, my personal favorite is Skyline Nightfall. So now if I click on that and then click apply, it gives RPCS3 a whole new look. And then another thing which I highly recommend you do is for this check for updates on startup, set this from yes to automatic. That way, whenever you boot up RPCS3, if there is an update available, it will automatically download it and install it. And now if we just click apply and then save, we're done there. Now this next feature was added recently to RPCS3 and it's a feature I've been waiting a very long time for. It is the ability to change your account region so that you can get a different navigator in PlayStation Home. And to do this, right click PlayStation Home and then click change custom configuration and then go to network. And as you can see here, there is a section for country. Now by default, it is set to United States. So if you were to launch the game with this country selected, you would get the North American navigator. But if you select United Kingdom for your country, like so, you would get the European Navigator. There are also two other navigators you can get, which are the Japan Navigator and the Asian Navigator. Now in the video description, I've left a note about which countries give what navigator. So check that out if you want to know which country to select for those. Also do keep in mind that not all regions on the list are supported by PlayStation Home. 
But anyways, once you've selected the country that you want to get the navigator of, click apply and then save. Now here's a trick you can use in game in regards to the chat range. If you press select and then go to dev debug open console and then type in admin chat range one like this. And then you press enter. You will be able to see all messages sent in the space you're in, even if you're out of range. Pretty cool. As you can see, one message from across the room just popped up. That's what it does. And to turn it off, so to go back to normal range, simply type in admin chat range zero. Just like that. Anyways, guys, that brings us to the end of the video, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And with that said, take care and peace.